One of the most common wild camping or off the cord questions we get is, can I run my air conditioner off of my solar? Well, technically the answer would be no, because you're actually running your AC off of your batteries and your inverter. Yeah, but even on top of that, the air conditioner is such a high draw and a consistently high draw device that it would require a lot of solar and a lot of batteries to keep that baby going. Which means a lot of dough. We realized recently that, well, We've been telling people this, but we've never actually tested it. No, so what better time do you conduct an experiment? Than when you're wild camping. Or we're wild camping. <laughs> you know what I mean. Our AC is not wired to the inverter, so we're gonna do a temporary connection just for this test. Woo! Oh, looks like they're here. Hey, you ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> Back? Now, you may recognize those famous hands. We decided to invite over our friends, the RV geeks, because, well, we didn't want something terrible to happen and turn this into some awful how not to video of some sort. <laughs> and because, well, we don't really recommend you do this on your own. If this actually works, then we would suggest going to a professional to make sure that you have your air conditioner wired to run off of your inverter permanently and not kind of this temporary fix that we are doing for today's experiment. That's my disclaimer. Okay, you're wired through the inverter, let her rip. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, awesome. thanks guys. Good luck guys. Yeah. yeah. Hope you stay cool. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. We'll let you know how it goes. Yeah. Take care. Obviously, today's a little cloudy, a little overcast. Yeah, so we're gonna wait for a sunnier day and a little bit warmer before we conclude our experiment. This test. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. As you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day here in California. Yes, and it's a balmy 80 degrees inside the RV right now, which is going to be perfect for our testing. Now, before we dive into all that, we want to remind you of all the technology we have on this RV. Yeah, like our GoPower all electric kit, which comes with 960 watts of solar and the Outback charge controller. We also have a 3000 watt hybrid magnum inverter and the most important part by far batteries. of this puzzle, batteries. <laughs> lithium batteries. We have 700 amp hours of lithium batteries on board. But can it handle the high draw power of an air conditioner? They don't know. They don't know. So let's go find out. Yeah, that was dramatic. <laughs> now I don't know. <laughs> okay, my battery's at 100%. 81 degrees in here. We're bringing in full sun. Panels are tilted. This is our best shot at completely running the AC off of our batteries and everything. So this is kind of a big deal. I'm nervous. You ready? Let's go for it. Cool mode auto. We're going to want to keep our eye over here as I crank it down. So this number is going to shoot way up as soon as that compressor kicks on. Crank it down to 66. And my heart is kind of pumping. This is. Alright. Okay, that was the compressor warming up, the fan kicking on. And whoa. whoa, vaulted. So just for a quick second, this fault thing, the light lit up. It, it wasn't enough to cause a proper fault because it's such a surge, but it, it obviously did not like that much power being sucked out. It's only pulling out 78 amps and it's been on for a, a few seconds now. We'll check it back in a little bit, 80 amps. Oh yeah, that feels good. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's cold? Yeah, it feels good. There's air conditioning and we're not plugged into anything. <laughs> because we have so much solar, we're bringing in a lot of power. Right now, about 45 amps or so. 
the AC is pulling out about 80 to 85 amps. So in theory, we're really only using 30 amps from the battery bank, which is almost nothing. Well, not really nothing, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It's not 80. It's not 80, it's true. The air conditioner has been running for about half an hour now. And the biggest thing that makes all of this possible for us is the fact that we have lithium batteries. And it's because they are so much stronger than the typical battery. And the fact that we have about three times more usable amp hours than what comes standard on this RV. And the reason I'm telling you that is because I don't want somebody at home that has a small or a typical battery bank thinking they should try to run their air conditioner off of their batteries because you could very well destroy your battery bank. So anyway, that is my disclaimer. <laughs> Disclaimer two for this video. Yeah, right? It so, requires a lot of disclaimers. By the way, making lemonade because I have air conditioning and it's a warm sunny day and it just seems like the right thing to do. There's two things that concern me so far with this test. The first one being that little fault that we saw. I'm gonna contact Magnum and ask them what they think about that, but I know surging the inverter <laughs> is hard on it. And you don't want to surge it too many times. So that's one thing. And the main thing is the batteries. Batteries have a finite number of life cycles. So in theory, by using the AC, we are lowering the life expectancy of our batteries. We are pulling in as much power as we can and pulling out a ton of power all at the same time. So I'm not sure exactly what it does to our batteries, but I know it will reduce the, the lifespan of our battery. Yes. That was hard to get out. Yeah, it was. It's a lot of information. <laughs> the fact that we've only pulled out about 35 amp hours from our batteries makes me think we can run this AC for, I don't know, several hours? No problem. So the question we posed was, can you run your air conditioner off of your solar and batteries? And I think we've proven that with this test. Yes. The answer is yes. With the right technology, you can definitely do it. Definitely. But Would will we? we? <laughs> I think yes, but only with like a good thumbs up or knowing that we're not putting too much strain on each of our devices. Yes, we'll contact the professionals, the manufacturers and ask, and we'll report back to whatever they say in the post. So yeah. you can click over if you want to read that feedback that we get from them. Yeah. All right, so I couldn't leave it at such a cliffhanger because, well, I've spent the past couple days talking to all the manufacturers and here's a, a short, brief little description of what I found out. Most importantly, I found out that what we did was wrong. <laughs> so the first thing I did was I called Magnum and they said there's a 40 amp max on their 12 volt inverters and they recommended we look into a soft start. So I said, okay, a soft start, what the heck is that? Called Coleman Mach, which is the company that makes the AC, had a nice conversation with them. They recommended a power saver model of their AC unit, but they also said they have worked with a soft start company called the soft start company found out we can reduce the locked rotor amps by 50 to 75 percent by installing a soft start and I know this sounds like gibberish but it's all very interesting I've outlined it in the post you can read more in depth about it but it's just been man I talked to lithionics about the batteries they said no problem yes the more you use your batteries the, the the less the less life cycles they'll have but what we did did not harm them in any way so really based on the test that we just did the only thing that was wrong was we didn't have a soft start a soft start installed on the air conditioning unit Whew. I'm excited though because when we started this project I thought there's no way it's gonna work and now I think it's totally possible, 100% possible. Back to the regular ending, maybe? <laughs> oh, I'm not wearing shoes. Yeah, but until then, I mean, we're gonna sit here yeah. in the desert, enjoy our lemonade, and, and our air conditioning. Cold AC. It's very awesome. Cheers, cheers. See you next time. See ya. Get comfy, Leo. Yeah. Oh. I like the AC too. <laughs>